and welcome to my YouTube. I'm Alan Cook, the proud owner of the Me Dion painting, and this is the Mona Lisa. The Mona Lisa is a younger child, and this is the older Mona Lisa later in Leonardo da Vinci's works. It's a painting which I own and which I found out of one of my warehouse buyouts, and I want to kind of get into showing you something before I re take these uh, away of, of a couple others than these is this image here is an area this this area here is an area that's on this dress and it's super blown up you cannot be seen with the human eye but before I move the other particular piece back here which is an x-ray out of the Mona Lisa if you take a look at his uh, top of his head when it's blocked off like this. I'm going to zoom in. It resembles the snout of a dog top head face. It's kind of like a induendo shot. So when you end up going into the dress area and you blow up one of his images that he has that's well hidden that's in my painting not in the Mona it's it's this guy which is I believe is Melzi Francisca and if you take a look at this th item right in that yeah, he's holding is a sideways dog he's holding you see the dog an eye an eye, a nose, the head's turned like this. This is Melzi, his fancy hairdo, and he's looking this way. I'll reduce it for you to see what he's looking at, but what I'm after is if you straighten the head, it's the same image uh, that is portrayed in his artwork. Uh, uh, it's just of a different view but I do believe the eyes float the same when you use this eye and this eye and you use this and this as an eye and there would be the nose down in here and it'd be buried as a turn but it, it's just something that I, I had I had to bring out because it's something that I will examine further but let me get back into this. This is a micro. If you follow his eyes, he shoots out to here. And if you blow him up, what he's looking at, it's Santa Claus. See, Leonardo da Vinci was considered to be an extremely good-hearted man, okay? And he represented a Santa Claus. So out of this image, after his passing, <clears throat> Leo and, and Melzi were like, um, you know, uh, Bobsy twins, lovers, uh, married, uh, uh, Sully, they were the three lovers. Uh, anyway, what I'm trying to say is this, is, this is the representing of the universe, of Earth transforming the sea to go uh, his passing out and he's hugging his dog uh, grasping for love uh, looking out to his lover who has moved on in life uh, into a different um, um, into heaven that's that's the that's the the uh, That's 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 it for for um, my um, as you can see, he's sitting and looking over, and so anyway, it's it's in one of my books. I'm gonna put this off to the side now. 
in the uh, Mona Lisa, um, the Mona Lisa, when it's um, put in uh, a uh, Well, what should I say? Uh, in the middle of my... I'm going to have to use the one right now because I lost it. Okay. When you take the Mona Lisa and you put it in my painting and you set it right in here where it fits. Okay. Fits it in here. You take this, which this is the Mona Lisa. This come out of the Mona Lisa. This actually goes in here, okay? And when it goes into the Mona Lisa, it actually ends up being um, the trick part is I couldn't figure it out for a while that it actually comes out to um, uh, display in my painting in a different way. You gotta forgive me because it's really difficult for me to try to do this at the same time and I know that you guys are probably getting frustrated but um, practice makes perfect. If the, 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 the part we're gonna be talking about is here is a woman and a man dressed up and he's got like sunglasses and he's looking at each other now this is in the Mona okay he, he signs his signatures like sunglasses so I couldn't figure out how come when I blew this up I wasn't seeing it as easy as when I blow this up equal and it doesn't have to be equal but some it's easier to find it as equal if you can get it as close as possible because he copies it but you just have to find it throughout so when I couldn't find out when I blew it up like this how come it didn't show up as easy but if you actually find out that there's uh, two lovers underneath the hat in here but if you actually put this down to the size of the Mona Lisa that I had earlier and stuck it in here. You're gonna find that where it lies in here is actually more lower. So you're gonna find out it, it actually flows in here more lower. So this is how I'm gonna show you that I'm getting a little bit lost here because there's so much of this this man is done you're gonna find out that the hearts okay the hearts in the eyes this is a heart and this is a heart comes out to be this dress now this dress deal gets kind of wild because this is what's in the dress and what's in this dress if you blow it up real heavy there's a little heart here and another heart and when you line these hearts up you're going to find them coming out to be in his eyeballs and they match perfect. You're gonna also find that this is called the Birdman. And he fits exactly in the shadow of the shade around the heart. They pull this down, and if you see this area here going around where the heart is, it's going around, the heart comes out, you can actually see the swinging out arm. And he's got something here, which is actually a bird, because it shows up better on mine. And that's how I know. But, I mean, you draw a circle around your item, it's a circle, right? You, 
you draw a zigzag person with a bird on it and it fits right in the same shadow there you go and here is something I just noticed oh my goodness in one of my paintings uh, uh, pieces it came out the letter 12 here's the one here's the two and also the seven so he has 17 on the face or, or 12 the same on another image which I'm gonna pull right now I just noticed that and I just noticed that boss and I know I have it and it should be it should say 12 here anybody see it first I I multiplied it 10 times um, the photos because I want it I want it 12 17 here it is 12 17 that's how I logged it so then I pull this down and then it's right here I don't know if you can see it here is the one and buried right here is the two real big and if you look it looks like a straight seven underneath the two and it crisscrosses with the two it's like a and then you can see kind of like a black one he, he he's he's a trickster and let me zoom in so you see if you can see that better see that's the 12 and the seven okay and I said I just found the one the same cut one right here and you can see the the two look now I'm gonna I'm gonna whoops let me let me zigzag that up for you you can see it you can see where he did the same thing the one and you can see the zigzag two through here and like the seven and that is something that was buried that was not of my imaging of high quality we're talking I have done some magnificent pulling on this stuff I, I don't mean to pat myself on the back but that is a great find a great great how can you how can you not verify that it is a block letter uh, uh, numbers and uh, uh, that are um, identical I, I I made a comment about last month I says I ain't gonna find anything unless it's printed out black and white uh, just like block lettering here they are they're the same so he's he's just he's just a nut he's just a nut that's the way Leonardo da Vinci is he hides his works so there's a lot more I'm gonna redo this YouTube even better um, I just want to say um, uh, thank you for watching um, here's here's the uh, one two again if you want to take another look at it see 12 that took me like two days to pull that hidden inside my works see that's my person this is turned sideways that's my person looking this way and the woman's right here looking this way and it's right in the middle he hides his works he buries his little codes throughout to prove what is his Anyway, uh, again, I want to say God bless the whole world, the universe, and the heavens. And I want you guys to be safe and say your prayers. And thank you for giving me all the great viewing and subscribing. In Jesus' name, amen.